Holy shit, Ray just confessed up one e nerd against this is the one and only Packer Girl 89. Today's manga nerd again live reaction video is going to be for March Comes in Like a Lion, aka Three Gots in a Lion, aka Sun Gots in a Lion, chapter 156. So, um, I really wish I would have started covering this manga um a little bit sooner, but um what happened was um <laughs> I got a little uh confused because I was waiting for chapter 153 to pop up and it never did it but it turned out that chapters 152 and 153 were combined and that's why 153 never showed up so um i literally just read 154 and 155 and oh boy i gotta talk about it before i go into 156 so um ray just basically confessed to uh to hina and oh my fucking god i'm so happy i'm so happy that ray confessed to hina and it it I don't know what it is with cultural festivals, fires, or I should say final day of the cultural festivals and fires and confessions, but because we just, we had it recently and Kaguya wants to be confessed to, but whew, um, I will say this, I feel like it was done a little bit better in March Comes in Like a Lion uh, compared to Kaguya, uh, right, especially writing-wise. It was just, oh, it was so so beautiful I, I think it's because it was more spur of the moment um i really love the inner mo uh, even the inner monologue was a lot better even though like yeah kaguya yeah you can make the argument that kaguya it was spur of the moment for her too um in a way uh because shiragani was planning it the entire since uh, he found out he got into stanford uh but um kaguya was kind of spur of the moment well she was planning it too but like uh shiragani kind of put her on the spot uh so, yeah, I, 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 I gotta say, the writing here was just so goddamn gorgeous. Oh my god, it was, woo, I loved it. I loved it. I loved the metaphors and everything that was used. It was beautiful. I just, oh, it was just, a, it was freaking fantastic. And you had, and the only thing is that um, I would say that made Kaguya's and Shiragani's confessions a little bit better is the nonverbal was just uh, how uh, Shiragani did it was just so freaking romantic. It was just oh, was so romantic with the balloons and like Kaguya's response with the kiss was just ooh, it was so. Mm. But anyway, um, let's get to the uh, chapter one fifty six and see what happens next. And this chapter is titled Azusa Number uh, One Part One. Lol, time passes steadily and equally for all. Go and I I gotta follow. Um, Aminu on Twitter. That is something I definitely need to do. Uh, let's see. Once I start to think, I can never stop. I am, uh, no, Nobidom Azusa Sixton, class B2, age 21. I'm heading to Sen, uh, Sendagaya for a match. It's for the Shishio Tournament Group 4 semifinals. Um... Once I start to think, I can never stop. For example, do you know the phrase to pluck the eye out of a live horse? According to the dictionary, it means uh, to be quick and accurate enough to shoot through the horse, uh, through the eye of a galloping horse. Um, appar <laughs> apparently, but if you don't know the origin of the phrase and you just look at the characters, um, it's not unreasonable to think it means cruel enough to gouge out the um, eye of a still living horse, if you ask me. Also, there's the phrase to boil down. After overthinking something to the point of going, I just don't know, you go, I've boiled down. That's how some tend to use it. Originally, it has the positive meaning of when you boil something a lot to the point where the liquids rise out as steam as it's, so it's uh, gotten good. The intended image is probably something like jam or meat sauce, which is um, done once it's boiled down. But for me, the first thing that comes to mind when someone says uh, boil down means, well, hot pot. Just throw some things together. Um, oh, sorry, warning, someone got it. Just throw some things in and boil it and you've got um, meat, vegetables, and soup all ready to eat at once. Damn, it makes me want some ramen. For somebody like me who lives alone, you really rely on hot pot to make it through the year. But if you think of hot pot, then boil down ends up being a really negative word that's connected to unpleasantly salty and about to burn. So if you don't know the origin and you're just reading the characters, it's gotten good and it could get bad soon. Could uh, both become, um, or sorry, wings. Could both come to mind uh, depending on the person and their total opposites. Uh, what's up with that? Oh my god, dude. Why is, ugh. 
You know, given the fact that um, there are things in the world that are good and not good to boil, the phrase boil down itself just doesn't work, does it? Maybe when the phrase boil down was invented, hot pot wasn't a thing yet? Um, no, no, oh god, this guy reminds me of my mans. My mans does the same thing. He, like, overthinks about shit, and he just, like, oh my god, like, a five-minute conversation, like, something that would take five minutes, will, will, will like, take, like, two hours. It will turn, like, into a two-hour lecture. It's just, oh my god, it just gets so frustrating sometimes. Oh my god, he's just, this guy is really making me think of my mans right now. No, 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 no. Hang on. If I do image search in my brain, oh my god, this is so my man's right now. Holy shit. This is like my man, like, you know, th this guy is talking about, um, uh, phrases. This is like my man when he's talking about logistics. Oh my god, this is so my man's when he's talking about logistics. If I do an image search in my brain, I remember seeing, um, this image in taiga dramas and in folk tales, hmm? But wait, what era is this image from? The soup in the pot hanging from the ceiling is basically a hot pot, right? When were iron pots invented? Oh my god, this is my man's, he's just, he's going to, oh my god, damn it. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, Azusa is just going on a fucking tangent! Oh my god! Oh my god! Um... Uh... Oh my god. The soup in the, the pot hanging from the ceiling is basically a hot pot, right? When were iron pots invented? The uh, Heian period? Or was it, uh, the Nara period? Oh my god, this is my man's! Oh my god! <laughs> my man's goes on these tangents all the fucking time! Um, huh? Wait, hold up. If something like a hot pot existed with, um, earthenware pots, then, uh, they could have been around pretty much forever, right? So, like, since the Jomen period or, uh, Yayoi period, then the word had to have come, uh, later, right? Wait, huh? Then maybe whoever came up with the boil-down phrase had never had hot pot? Or maybe, oh my god, oh god, the tangent! Oh my god, there was a third party that constantly, uh, poured, um, more broth in, in before the hot pot boiled down? I'm forgivable. That's why I always add my own broth. In fact, I bet everybody that uses the phrase in the positive sense always has someone else pouring the broth for them. They're all people that um that have been immersed in a pampered li lifestyle. In fact, I'll bet if any of those people ever had to make jam or meat sauce, then oh my god, <laughs> oh my god, I'm not even away from my man. Or I've been away from my man's for like about 24 hours. <laughs> right now oh my god oh god this is just this is totally my man this is oh god is this why are you going on a tangent like this why do you have to go on a tangent on a fucking saying like a uh, slash metaphor like my man's would go on a tangent about logistics oh my god it is uh, oh gosh oh my god oh my god uh, I, uh, uh, I'm not gonna even no. I'm not gonna call him after I record this video because I know this will turn. If I do it, it will turn into a two-hour phone call. It totally will. Sinagaya, Sinagaya. Uh, the doors are closing. Please watch your step. Bumped into something apparently. It's master. I get nervous around my master. Does that mean I'm ungrateful? Well, I don't deny it. Um. Oh my god. Ah, oh, he's going on another tangent. Oh my god. This is so my man's. Whenever my master, he, my man's goes on tangents like all the fucking time. Um, whenever my, um, um, uh, master talks to me in the morning, it throws my whole groove off. You throw my groove. Oh my god. We're, we're having a Cusco moment. You, you're, you're throwing this groove off. That ain't good. Um, the whole rhythm for the match that I, um, been building from the moment I woke up goes completely out of whack. Then all the fighting spirit I whipped up, uh, I whipped up leaks out, and uh, uh, the pressure of uh, the vigor I worked so hard to store up inside my body shoots out, and I end up totally deflated. I haven't said anything to my master about this. I definitely have a bit of gratitude for him, but I wouldn't say I admire him. To be honest, I don't sense anything particularly appealing from him. When I look at him, I just get this sort of hazy feeling. He's pretty thoughtless, undignified, and absent-minded. But for some reason, people are drawn to him. Good morning. Oh, morning. Well, whatever. I'll bet since Master uh, couldn't um, cloud himself in the golden armor of being a great shogi player, instead he cre um, uh, created the persona of a charming and easy-to-talk-to player star despite being old. He builds a niche for himself, in my opinion. Class B1, that 
That right there is a den of demons that pluck eyes out of living horses, which makes me wonder why he construct the character he has, but let's give it our all today again. Of course, I've never um, been able to voice any of this out loud. Please say something out loud. <laughs> But in the end, it's only strength that gets you anywhere. Um, no matter what kind uh, kind of charm you have, if you're not a good player, you won't survive. It doesn't seem like the place uh, where you want to shroud yourself in this in uh, the kind of sociable weak character like Master does. Oh, hey, isn't that Kiriyama? Uh, how goes it? Hey, good morning. Good morning. That's the guy I'm playing today. Damn it! Oh, kick his ass, Ray. Uh, wait, wait, what? Um, Master, why are you smiling at him all of a sudden? That's my match opponent, you know? How is he, how is getting him relaxed gonna help me? You can be really abrasive and put him in a bad mood. You can make random predictions or give him meaningless advice to get him confused. You can force him to, um, go over to Hamatori's shrine and get him to pick a, a fortune slip, which you could, uh, switch with a, uh, bad luck slip to take the wind out of his sails. You can pretend to, um, trip and splash his white shirt with canned coffee and give it a huge coffee-colored stain that drains all his motivation. There's all sorts of stuff, right, Master? Do what an ass! Oh my god! My man, my man could be an ass, but my man's is not that much of an ass. He's smiling. Is that his way of saying he doesn't need to be brimming with fighting spirit to win this? No, he's smiling because he confessed to, to Hina. That's why he's smiling. He's got his woman now. That's why. Because I'm his opponent? Until Kiriyama and Nikaido came onto the scene. Oh, I miss Nikaido. I need some Nikaido in my life right now. Because Nikaido's... Nikaido is like, he was my baby. I love Nikaido. Um, until Kiriyama and uh, Nikaido came on the scene, I was the person that came to everyone's minds um, when people talked about young players. I was the one with all the attention, too. It's something about the media I really hate. Youngest player, first in history, the newcomer everyone has high hopes for. In order to distinguish between good things and bad things, you definitely need to study th those sort of things. But even a five-year-old could tell... Um, tell you with a little internet searching that just looking at what's new and old isn't enough. The youngest, the first in history. As long as we have facts like that, we don't need any skill or creativity in our writing. It's easy to tell and everybody latches onto it. It's super easy to explain. And it's only a couple of, uh, only a couple words, so you can make the text really big. Perfect for headlines. But if you're lacking at all in the categories of newness or skill, you're starting to decline altogether, apparently. I'm going to fight my way out of this. I never once thought of just uh, becoming a pro as my goal, and I'm going to crush them. All the folks that said I was a young person who lost momentum, or I'm a former prince or whatever, I've got all their names written down. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That, that, that's something about... Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. It is a... Uh, oh, he's kind of making me think of my mans a, a little bit. My, my mans is some... Uh, my man's is an ass, but he's not that much of an ass. Like, my man's is actually pretty laid back. Unless you fuck with him. Eh, that wouldn't fuck with my man's. Yeah, he'll fuck with you harder. Um, he still hasn't moved, has he? Weird, after he was walking at a pretty consistent 50 meters behind us, um, the whole way here. It's gonna start in another five minutes. I wonder if his, um, Azamion is okay. Hmm, he gets stuck around those shrubs there a lot. When he starts thinking, he goes off in his own little zone. What should we do, Tanaka-san? Mm, let's watch it for three more minutes, and if he doesn't move, I'll call him. He sure sounds like a handful, Tanaka-san. Oh, gosh. Like... <laughs> okay, let me give you my thoughts about about this motherfucker. Okay, so he's in his own goddamn world, but I swear to God, if he was talking to somebody, he would be like my man with his ta uh, with his ta with his fucking tangents and his lectures. Oh my god, like a, a simple five minute conversation would turn into like a two hour lecture. I swear to God. It totally would. It just would. But the thing is, is the difference between, and I gotta say this, um, the difference between my mans, I have to get it off my chest. Because I gotta, because I don't want to make my mans to sound like a total asshole. Um, the difference between my mans and Azusa is my mans doesn't really hold grudges unless you fuck with him. Now, if you fuck with him or his money, um, uh, if you fuck with him, his money, like, fuck with him personally, I mean, his money, uh, his nonprofit, his family, or fuck, if you fuck with me, yeah, um, there would be problems. And then he'll fuck with you. And then he's, he's gonna fuck with you harder. But yeah, uh, I'm very curious.
curious what you guys think of Azusa. Like, do you guys know someone like Azusa that's like that? Like, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I get like that where I'm in my own head. But I'm not like, like, like I'll go on my own little tangents, uh, you know? But <laughs> Azusa's tangents are more like, I'm more like my man's tangents. It's like, God, where he's like, he's just rambling on about shit. And just, I'm sorry, I have to bring my mans into this, but God damn it, it's just making me, it just reminds me of my mans, like, two hour lectures that I have to sit through sometimes. Like, I would be on the phone with him for, like, two hours, and he's just talking about, like, his logistics shit with UPS and FedEx and all that crap. And, and like, I'm like, oh, I got shit to do, God damn it. And that's why sometimes my videos get delayed um, because he's talking to me about his logistics stuff. And, yes, I find it interesting sometimes. I really do and because it's, you know, I love him and I find his stuff interesting. But, like, oh, two hours is too much. Anyway, very curious what you guys think. Um, uh, and I'm curious if you guys think that uh, Kiriyama is just happy because he confessed to uh, Hina. And I'm curious what you guys think if, if Hina has accepted Ray's feelings or not. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans. Thank you if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more March Comes in Like a Lion content. There's a few ways you could do that. You can donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe. Purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All it's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, find me on PlayStation Network. All that's in the... Um, description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.